Hi, James Laughlin, editor of Waterworld magazine, on the show floor at WEFTEC 2010. I'm here talking with Greg Bretz of Grenfoss about the systems they have on display at the show. Greg, Grenfoss has really had a lot, uh, reputation around the world uh, for pump manufacturing over the years, and now I understand you're really moving into the North American market. Absolutely. Thanks for asking. Uh, Grundfos is uh, founded in 1945 uh, by a young Danish entrepreneur in his basement. Uh, in 65 short years, he's grown that business uh, to be one of the largest pump companies in the world. As you can see in the, the booth here today, there are products that span and solutions that span the entire water cycle. Um, so Grundfos has really taken an aggressive approach to expanding in North America. And one of the most important product lines and solutions that we're providing uh, within that approach is here with the uh, Grundfos digital dosing pumps. Uh, the new smart digital uh, dosing is a very, very uh, innovative product that's really going to revolutionize the, uh, the dosing pump industry. Well, um, I understand you have a specialist here who's going to talk about that system? We do. We have our product manager as well as one of our project engineers here. They're going to give you guys a great demonstration over some of the advantages and some of the features of this new product. So I'm here with Paul Horspool, project manager for Grundfos, who's going to tell us about their dosing system. Paul, Grundfos is well known for their pumps, but you also do dosing, and obviously this is a new product for you this year. That's right. Grundfos is primarily known for moving water with our centrifugal product lines that are displayed here in the booth, but we also treat it as well. And what's new with the Grundfos metering pumps is a focus on moving away from traditional drive technology to using variable speed stepper motors which allow us to give a smooth, steady, continuous feed rate into your system. Oftentimes, the chemicals injected before a pump, chlorine can cor uh, corrode the bronze impellers and cause pitting problems and things like that. Because of the continuous feed characteristics out of the pump, it allows us to give a nice, steady feed rate and a turndown that's unmatched in the industry down to one one-thousandth, even one three-thousandth of full speed without any stroke length adjustment. And that's all done using variable speed stepper motors. Running at full speed, suction and discharge are the same speed. But the more I turn it down, the longer it takes to complete that discharge stroke, all the way down to one one thousandth of full speed for improved accuracy, plus or minus 1% repeatable, all the way through its adjustable range. So what kind of applications, again, would this be used? Uh, pretty much any chemical dosing application across the water market. Absolutely. Primarily, this is designed for the challenging applications, neat sodium hypochlorite feed, 12.5%, where you tend to see problems with the off-gassing, uh, polymer feed, where you're really sensitive to slug feeding, you want to get a nice, steady injection rate. So those types of applications uh, that are, the, the precision is important, and you need that repeatable accuracy. Grumfoss has developed these metering pumps to address those needs. So uh, there are a lot of different app, uh, metering systems out there. How would you say this differs primarily? Well, I'm going to let my colleague Carlos Uribe address those questions, and he'll get into the nuts and bolts on what makes the next generation of metering pumps different from what's out there today. Well, now I'm with Carlos Uribe, product manager for Grunfoss, who's going to tell us about the uh, smart dosing system and how it differs from other technologies mm. that are available on the market. Hi, James. Yeah, well, this is the new generation of dosing pumps from Grunfoss. Uh, it's called the DDA version. Uh, the main difference of this pump is that it's actually able to make decisions. The, the pump can analyze some signals, pressure, position of the diaphragm, and based on that information, take some decisions and uh, start injecting, accelerating, or decelerating the position of the diaphragm. So you can see how the pump reacts to each environment. Next, I'm going to show you the uh, auto degassing feature in this pump. The pump not only detects the air bubbles, but it get rid, so, get, get rid of the air bubbles on the head. I'm going to push this button to generate some air bubbles from the suction side. So you can see how the air is coming through here. Once the air bubbles reach the head, the system will detect the air bubble situation. Very common on uh, gassing chemicals such as sodium hypochlorite or chlorine dioxide. You, the pump detects the air bubble situation, goes out of normal, change the speed. It starts shaking the diaphragm, allowing all the air to go through the head and basically moving all that air. So you don't have to deal with automatic venting valve, auto degassing heads. You don't need any of that. The pump is able to make that decision and correct that situation on its own. Okay? If you want to duplicate this system, you will need a pump, a flow meter, and a PLC to do that kind of logic. With this pump, all the intelligence is built in the microcontroller of the pump. Okay? The next uh, situation I would like to simulate here is uh, what happens when somebody breaks the discharge line. 
if I open this valve, you see a lot of chemical will be spilled in a real time situation. Here you can see the alarm is detected, the pump detects the alarm, change the color on the screen, indicating that something is wrong with the system. So now the operator will have to come to the pump, repair the line, and acknowledge the alarm. Once that's done, the pump goes back to normal, gives you a recorder information about that alarm, and that's it. You go back to normal operation. So the pump is intelligent enough to not only detect the signals, but attempt to correct each situation that you may face on a dosing system or a water treatment application. Well, thank you very much, Carlos. This is a very interesting and intelligent system. Well, Greg, it, it seems like an interesting system, and as we all know, if you can optimize your chemical usage and lower your costs, um, utilities are going to be very happy about that. Um, it's a great system. Absolutely. You know, uh, the world is in the midst of a water crisis right now. Uh, treating water is, is on the forefront of the conversation at this trade show and many other trade shows. What Grunfoss is trying to do is create solutions that makes the process of treating water much more efficient. Uh, and, and we've created a technology that's very unique and it, it helps engineers and it helps our customers uh, treat water and design systems in a much uh, improved way. All right. Well, thank you very much for your time. Thank you.